Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a few different ways to make homemade batteries. For this first method, you're going to need some pennies, some vinegar or lemon juice, some cardboard, and some aluminum foil. First, sort out your pennies by date. Those made before 1982, and those made after. The ones that are made before 1982 are made of brass or copper. The ones that are made after have a copper coating and a zinc core. This is what we want. Once you've got your pennies sorted, grab some sandpaper or a Dremel sanding bit and go to work sanding down one side to expose the zinc. Now grab your cardboard and cut some sections that are just smaller than the pennies themselves. The smaller size will assure that the batteries don't short out and skip over a cell. Now take all your cardboard bits and soak them in some vinegar or lemon juice. To assemble the battery, grab a piece of aluminum foil and put a penny on it, with the copper side facing down. Then place a piece of the soaked cardboard on top. Start layering the pennies in the cardboard. Make sure the copper side of the pennies are all facing down. As you can see, when we touch a voltmeter to the two ends, we have some current. The copper side is the positive terminal, and the zinc is the negative. This is cool and all, but to make this actually function, grab a piece of tubing that's roughly the same diameter as a penny. Then cut it down to a little under an inch. Then grab a nickel and glue it to one end of the pipe. In my case, it made a perfect fit. Now do the same thing you did before, just layer the coins and the paper, like this. The more pennies and cardboard, the higher voltage the battery will be. Once you've put in all the pennies, just add a few pieces of tin foil to fill up any extra space and then glue another nickel to the top. You can see when we measure the voltage, it comes in at around 6 volts. That should be enough to light up an LED. Okay, for this next method, you're going to need some citrus fruit and some more pennies. This time, sand down both sides of one of the pennies so you're left with pure zinc metal. Then, cut two slits in the fruit and put a normal penny in one and a sanded penny in the other. When we measure this with the voltmeter, it comes in at around half a volt. For this final method, just grab some salt and water and then mix them together. Now grab that penny that's sanded on both sides and a normal penny, and dip them partway in the mixture. As you can see, this also gives off some voltage. Instead of salt water, you can also use Coca-Cola or anything else that contains the acid. If you want to find out more about how this works, check the link in the description. But basically the acids contain electrolytes, which replace the electrons and allow them to flow from one metal to the other. Well, now you know a few ways to make a homemade battery. So if you're ever stuck on an island with some pennies, you can now have some electricity. If you like this video, please subscribe and like me on Facebook and Instagram to get notified when I upload new ones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.